Good day everyone. Today, we'll discuss about the data we gathered on the research we conducted entitled Level of Student Satisfaction During Distance Learning of Jose Abad Santos Senior High School. As we all know, distance learning was implemented due to the community quarantines in a different part of our country to avoid the widely spreading of coronavirus or COVID-19. To continue the learning of every student, the Department of Education decided to implement the distance learning wherein attending classes is done through online platforms and activities were given directly to the Google Classroom of the students. The researchers aims to know the learning satisfaction of the senior high school students adjusting to this new class environment. Now let's proceed to the statement of the problem. In this year's mode of learning, many students and teachers adjusted themselves to comply on the so-called new normal way of learning. Then, many students struggles to cope up with the lesson. This research aims to provide the rate of satisfaction of the students and answer the following questions. First one. What are the students' perception about blended learning? Second, what mode of learning is more effective? Third, what are the level of satisfaction of the students in terms of 3.1 instruction, 3.2 internet connection, 3.3 interaction with teachers, and 3.4 interaction with classmates? Lastly, is there a significant difference between the mode of learning and the level of satisfaction of the student? Surveys conducted online wherein 70 students were able to respond voluntarily, 35 students from the 11th grade, and 35 students for the 12th grade. Now let's proceed to the analysis and interpretation of the data we gathered. Figure number 1. How is your internet connection? Figure number 1 shows that only 6% of the students are very satisfied with their internet connection. Meanwhile, 43% answered that they are satisfied and 44% are not very satisfied with their internet connectivity. On the other hand, 7% of the students are completely not satisfied with their internet connection. Therefore, it is clearly shown that most of the students are not very satisfied with their internet connection. Next one, figure number 2. Are you satisfied with your synchronous meetings? Figure 2 shows that only 8% of the students are very satisfied with their synchronous meetings and 63% says that they are satisfied. 23% of them states that they are not that very satisfied with the synchronous meetings they had and 6% are totally not satisfied. With this, we can clearly see that students are satisfied with their synchronous meetings. On asynchronous classes, are activities instructed well? So, according to them, figure number 3 shows that 19% of the students are very satisfied in the instruction given on asynchronous activities. 36% are satisfied and 44% of them are not very satisfied about the instructions. Lastly, 1% of them stated that they are not satisfied about the instruction on asynchronous classes. Are you satisfied with the mode of learning this pandemic? So, according to them, figure number 4 shows that 3% of the students are very satisfied with the mode of learning this pandemic. 34% are satisfied and 43% are not very satisfied on the said mode. In addition, 20% are not totally not satisfied with participate actively in synchronous meetings. So, according to them, figure number 5 shows that 32% of the students are very satisfied as they are actively participating on their synchronous meetings. Then, 44% of them are satisfied with their participation and 17% are not that very satisfied. 7% says that they are totally not satisfied when it comes to actively participation in their synchronous meetings. On offline works, are you satisfied with your performance? So according to them, figure number 6 shows that 16% of the students are very satisfied about their performance on their offline works. 54% of them are satisfied and 24% are not very satisfied.
On the other hand, 6% of the students are not satisfied on their performance regarding on the offline works. Figure 7. Are you satisfied with your activities as a group? According to them, 19% of the students are very satisfied with their activities as a group. 53% of them are satisfied and 17% of them are not very satisfied. Sadly, there is 11% of them are not satisfied with their activities as a group. The question is, how's your interaction between your classmates? According to our survey, 9% of the students are very satisfied with their interaction between their classmates. 51% of them are satisfied and 30% are not very satisfied. Last, 10% of the students are not satisfied with their interaction between their classmates. Your 9 shows that the 54% of the students are very satisfied on their performance during the face-to-face -face classes on the past years. 40% of them are satisfied and 2% are not very satisfied. On the later part, 4% of states that they are not satisfied with their performance during the face-to-face -face classes they experienced on these past years. Figure 10. Perceived learning during synchronous classes. According to our survey, 4% of the students are very satisfied with their perceived learning during synchronous classes. A large number of the students who responded that they are satisfied with their learning on synchronous classes are 69%. Lastly, 24% of them are states that they are not satis very satisfied with their perceived learning and 3% of them clearly answered that they are not totally satisfied. Next one, figure number 11. Perceived learning on modular activities. Figure 11 shows that 6% of the students are very satisfied with the learning they perceived on modular activities. Then, 58% of them states that they are satisfied, 30% are not very satisfied, and 6% of them are totally not satisfied with the learning they perceived on modular activities. See figure number 12. Perceived learning during face-to-face -face classes in the past years. Figure 12 shows that 49% of the students are very satisfied with the learning they perceived on the face-to-face -face classes in the past few years. Then, 41% states that they are satisfied. 6% says that they are not very satisfied. And 4% are totally not satisfied with the learning they perceived at the face-to-face -face classes. Now, let's proceed to the answers for the statement of the problem. The researchers base the result on the Likert scale interpretation. Statement of the problem number one. What are the students' perception about blended learning? With the mean of 2.2, the interpretation states that the students are satisfied with the blended learning implemented in this time of pandemic. Now let's proceed to the statement of the problem number two. What mode of learning is more effective? We can clearly see on the table with the mean of 3.34, face-to-face classes is the mode of learning which is more effective for the students. Now let's proceed to the statement of the problem number 3.1. Level of satisfaction of the students in terms of instruction. Based on the table, we can clearly see that with a mean of 2.97, students are satisfied with the instruction given to them by their teachers. Next one. Statement of the problem number 3.2. Level of satisfaction of the students in terms of internet connection. On the table, we can clearly see that with a mean of 2.47, students are satisfied with their internet connection. Statement of the problem number 3.3. Level of satisfaction of the students in terms of interaction with teachers. We can clearly see that with a mean of 3, students are satisfied on their interaction with their teachers. Statement of the problem number 3.4. Level of satisfaction of the students in terms of interaction with classmates. We can clearly see that with a mean of 2.79 and 2.59, students are satisfied on their interaction with their classmates. Lastly, is there a significant difference between the mode of learning and the level of satisfaction of the student? Based on the table, 
we can clearly see the significant difference between the mode of learning and the level of satisfaction of the students. On the first one, with the question of, are you satisfied with your synchronous meetings? With a mean of 2.79, researchers interpreted that the students are satisfied. Then, when it comes on offline works, with a mean of 2.80, the researchers interpreted that the students are satisfied. Lastly, on the face-to-face -face mode of learning, with a mean of 3.44, Researchers interpreted that the students are very satisfied. Therefore, we can clearly say that there is a significant difference between the mode of learning and the level of satisfaction of the students. Let's proceed to the conclusion. After interpreting and discussing the data we gathered, the researchers conclude that the students were satisfied with the distance learning implemented in this time of pandemic. Jose Santos senior high school students were still adjusting to this new setup. As we can see, there are a lot who responded that they are not very satisfied with some of the issues asked related to this distance learning. Traditional classes are the ones that conducted through face-to-face -face discussion were more effective than other modalities implemented this school year. Clearly shown that 49% of both grade 11 and grade 12 students stated that they are more satisfied with the learning they perceived on face-to-face -face classes rather than the learning they perceived in the distance or blended learning we are experiencing right now. Based on the summary, findings, and results of this study, these are the following recommendations. Number one. The future researchers must enlarge the number of respondents in order to generalize the population accurately. Second, this would also be better if they will relate the level of student satisfaction with their academic performance. Third one, they must come up to questionnaires that would elaborate and would clearly explain the answers on their statement of the problem. Next one, to become beneficial. They can make this a guide for the teachers or head of schools to come up with ideas and programs that would help the students increase their level of satisfaction in order to have a better academic performance. Lastly, if possible, conducting this research to the whole population of students in the school will make this research worthy.